Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make a CRUD in Angular. We have already created the Angular project and integrated Bootstrap in it. So you can see this is the Bootstrap button. And now we are going to integrate the backend API which we had already created using Spring Boot. Okay. So here it is. The project is running. So let me list the users over here. Okay. So you can see this is our API which we are going to fetch in our Angular project. So let's get started. So first we'll go to our VS Code. So first we will start with creating a model. So inside your app, you can just create a new folder called models and inside models, we will create our student model student.ts. Okay. Export and we are going to create an interface over here. Okay. First give some, yeah, export interface student and we are going to specify the fields. So the first field is an ID which is of type number and then you have the name which is of type string and then we have the email and phone. Okay. So we have created the model and now we have to create a service class. So inside our app, you can create a new folder over here or you can directly create it from your terminal. So let me just create it from here. So over here, we are going to say ng generate service. So you can write the whole word or just say g space s and then I will give my path. So I will say service slash student service or just say student. It will add the service over there. Yeah. So you can see we got a service class and our service is added over here. Okay, so you can keep this outside also, like directly you can keep the file here. I have just put it inside a folder. So now in your student service, we are going to call the HTTP module in our constructor. So for that, you will have to import it in your app module TS. So you see the import side, you have browser module, app routing module. So we need to add the HTTP client module over here. Okay, so no quick fixes available, so we'll have to import it manually. Let me just do that. Import, say, HTTP client module from Angular comment slash HTTP. Okay, so our HTTP client module is imported now and just close the module.ts file and coming back to the service class over here you can say private http client colon http client yeah okay so we have passed that in our constructor so now we can use it in our class so let's create a function over here called get students students and here we are going to first specify the url so let me create a variable called where url equal to and give the url over here copy that and paste it over here and then we are going to return this dot http client dot this is our get method API, so I'm going to say dot get function and then pass the URL. Now we can use this function to get the student list. So in your app dot component dot HTML, this is the direct root file. So we will not write the code over here. Instead, we will generate separate components for each module. Okay. So I will say ng generate component and here we can say we can create a folder and keep it inside that. So I will just say my component slash student. Or you can say student list. So you can see inside my components, you can see you got student list dot HTML. And 
we have a ts file over here so we will be using the service class you know this one we will be using it over here and then populating that data to the html file so we will declare the students variable over here this will be of type array of it is going to be array of the type student okay so yeah so you can see there is an error over here so for now you can just put a note over here and leave or you can assign an empty array over here something like this okay so we'll keep it like this both is fine and then we are going to create a constructor and we are going to inject the service class over here okay so say private student service of type student service this class okay so now you can use this and call the methods from the service class so i will create a function over here called get student list okay and over here i will say this dot student service dot get students and the url is passed in the service itself and we are not passing any data from here so i'm going to leave this empty and then we are going to subscribe to it and we will get the response and over here you can just assign it to your students variable this dot students equal to res okay but you see there is an error over here which says the object type is assignable to very few other types to me instead okay for this we can do one thing we can go to our service class and over here we can define the return type of this so it is going to be return an observable and you have to import this from rxjs so import observable from rxjs this is not a function let's pass the type student and over here in the get you have to pass the type of student and this is going to be an array of students right so we are getting multiple students here so now we can go back to our student list.ts file and here you can see that error is gone so once you can just console log the response and check it in your browser so this function is created but we need to call this on whenever the page is loading right so we will say ng on init function so this is the on init function which is called once when the page is reloaded and here you can just call this function this dot get student list so now whenever the page reloads the ng on init function will be called and this function is called inside the on init function so now when you come to your app directory you can see this is a html file and this is the view which is being returned currently right so you can see refresh you are getting this thing so when we go to the app routing.module.ts file you can see the routes variable it is null that means there are no routes registered right now so as the video is getting longer we will do this in the next part and i will just show you the output in this page itself i will add that component over here say app student list okay so this app prefix is added to every component you create in your angular app so now we can go back to the browser and refresh you can see student list works this is the text in the html file and this is the data which we had printed from our ts file so you can see we have got the data from our api now we need to print it over here so we'll go to the student list.html and quickly design a html table say container and also i will add the table struct class okay 
So inside the table, first we have the T head and then the table row, table heading, that is the ID and name, email and phone. Okay. After the T head, you have T body. Inside the T body, let me just close the sidebar and the terminal and zoom in. Yeah. So inside the T body, we have a table row and then table data. So this table row, we are going to iterate until the data is over. So over here, you are going to say ng4 and let item of list. So this will be your students variable. So in your TS file, you can see this variable which you have created. That one we need to loop it over here. So you can keep this as items or you can say student student okay and the first td we are going to print student dot id and then the name email and roll number i just made a mistake over here test roll number and also in the student dot ts it is roll number yeah now let's check our output refresh you can see we have got this student data so in the next video we will see how to do the routing in our angular app so we can navigate between different pages without reloading the page that is when we click on add user we get a different page and then when we say view users we get the list of the users so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching